I'm Corey Hopkins. I'm the director of Mamma Mia at the high school. So what I'm most enjoying about uh, Mamma Mia is seeing the whole process come together from you know, the first rehearsal where we, you know, read through the script uh, as a whole cast. And at that point, we have nothing other than what's in the script, what the lyrics in the show are, what the lines are, um, some simple stage directions. And then as we go through the rehearsal process, we start to, you know, help the show come alive. It's like a, a labor of love in a sense that uh, it doesn't doesn't just happen overnight. So I love the uh, the process of going from nothing to something in, in a very short time. This show, Mamma Mia, is is really special because for the students that we have, it was like the perfect. It was it was kind of like a perfect storm of uh, qualities that we needed in a show. Last year when we did Cinderella, it was a very traditional story. It was very, uh, you know, it was like a more kid-friendly show, like, you know, fun for everybody in the family. Um, and with this show, we really wanted to have more of a modern uh, piece that had well, like a more mature subject matter that the kids could be exposed to rather than just like a simple fairy tale. And um, with a different style of singing, you know, it's all the music in the shows uh, from the band ABBA. So they're, you know, they're singing these, these pop rock songs and uh, it's just giving them a, a different opportunity. You know, once we have the entire set built, um, then, you know, we have to get it moved around on stage. We have to make sure what the actors are doing is lining up with what the crew is doing. And, you know, the scene changes don't just happen, right? We have to make them look like they are part of the show. We have to make sure that um, everybody knows where they're going. Uh, not only for like obviously a safety issue, but like the scene changes are also part of the storytelling. We want it to be one total beautiful picture. You know, with the auditorium being complete and with uh, this incredible cast and crew working so hard, um, we were just in a really good spot at this point, which I don't think last year we were quite here yet. On a personal level, um, I've had a lot of the performers since middle school, so seeing them like in their senior and in junior years uh, performing at this level, it's been really special for me to see that. You know, we always have sort of a list of like things that we're thinking about and we're trying to sort of pick things that we think will be a good fit for the students that we know are involved in the show. Um, you know, what the community will be into, you know, trying to weigh a lot of different things and uh, this one rose to the top. It, it has to be the music. It is so fun. It's music that so many people know and love um, and it's neat to see it all woven into a story that way because of course it was all written way before the show existed so it's neat to see how they've put it all together and uh, it's just it's like a big rock party the whole show. Um, auditions are simultaneously the most exciting and fun part of it and also one of the most terrifying parts because honestly we have so many talented uh, performers singers and, and dancers and actors that we, I mean, we could have cast the show two or three times over with, you know, the lead ensemble because we have so many talented students. It's a wonderful um, challenge that way, but it's also a wonderful gift because the, the whole cast is just stacked with people who have amazing, amazing skills. Um, it is always exciting. There, there are nerves, of course, I think, opening night. Um, we've had some really great tech rehearsals here the last few days, but there's nothing like a house full of people um, and there's a, an electricity in the air before the show starts that's just totally different than anything else. It's the most fun, but also a little bittersweet too because you've made this magical thing that now never exists again in real life. So it's, it's always a little bittersweet by the time you get to the end. This year has been uh, very different than last year. Last year I've had numerous rehearsals. I had about maybe 15 to 20 rehearsals. This year I condensed it to just over a week of rehearsals simply because I hired a lot of professionals to come and join us um, for the hit this year, which is a different composition. Um, and then uh, we have four students who um, were able to join the hit this year rather than last year's humongous composition. So less rehearsals, um, but more crunch time to work with the cast and the final product that the cast and crew have worked on so that, that's the more of the cohesion aspect there for the tech week. 
My favorite part working with the pit is experiencing the main stage program utilizing the MTI's patch. Um, what this patch does is that it hooks up and communicates with our synthesizers and as we're playing through different song selections and numbers the patch changes different sound effects or there's audible cues that the players can press and then it's recorded voices or pre-recorded voices that come into the number. I had no idea what audio interface meant or MIDI meant but after this I feel like a little bit more um, I skilled and or, or I know of what to do if I reach a pit future in my career with this so just just learning that aspect of it and the music it's ABBA so I can't get wrong can't, can't go wrong with that but I'm starting to go a little crazy but it's still good music Uh, it's been really great. I mean, it's something to remember for <laughs> as the rest of my life, and uh, the cast is amazing. Uh, yeah, it's just been really good. Yeah, we have a really good group this year. It's definitely been really busy, but it's super fun. Like, there's not a day I don't come to school, and I'm like, I'm so excited for musical, like, every day. Um, I think personally, um, I think the hardest part of the show is being able to tell the story, and when you repeat a show so many times when you rehearse it um, it kind of gets lost and I think the hardest part is when it comes time for the show day that you're you're ready you're ready to tell a story you're ready to show the audience I love the community we have and just being with your friends because this is where I have like the most friends and the ones I see the most so it's it's like really an awesome experience to work with your fellow friends and peers yeah I agree like you spend like 15 hours a day with these people like it's crazy but it's really nice to just be all together and do like what we love to do together. Um, at first I struggled to like balance all the songs and the choreography was a lot at first and there was certain songs where we didn't know certain parts of it but now that it's all figured out it's like a big relief and I think all the ensemble and stuff has got all their stuff down so it's it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely just putting together like all of the different pieces like putting together the choreo and any harmonies you have and just even just putting it all on stage under the lights it's just a process to get it all together but it works out honestly i think my favorite part is making really great relationships with the people that are in the cast and i think my favorite favorite thing is that i get to spend my last show with people that i've done shows with in sixth grade so like we did our first show yeah. together and now this is our last show senior year so it's just kind of a huge full circle moment and like all of my friends from high school just having a really fun last row with everyone just really means a lot to me. I honestly think for this musical, compared to, because we've been in a lot, we've got a lot of experience, <laughs> yeah. I would say that um, honestly the show went really smooth this year. We got a really lot of did, things, yeah. like all the dance numbers, all the singing, everything came together really fast. Mm -hmm. and. I'm really proud of everyone. We did we did great. We did really good work, yeah. especially because it's so music heavy. Yeah. Like we've done such a good job mm -hmm. on really getting the music down and it sounds really great. It does, yeah. Uh I'd say my favorite thing. Uh, maybe the energy, yeah, the energy that comes from the show. The dancing is nice too, but that yeah, it's very tiring. So I'm gonna go with the energy. What about you? I'd say my favorite part is relaxing backstage, even though it's not really relaxing because I'm still anxious and nervous. You know what? I changed my answer to what he said. <laughs> yeah, uh, everybody in the cast is slowly losing their sanity. And uh, I want to say everybody in the cast is doing an excellent job besides this guy. They're all great. I love everybody. I have nothing, not a bad thing to say about any single person in this cast. I mean, they're all my best friends. I literally hang out with all of them outside of school, talk with them. Like, I love them all. Love this cast. I think we're all so very close and we've gotten closer as like the week's gone on because we're here like every day with each other. Every day. Um, since you guys are like main roles, what was it like for like auditions? Like how were you guys feeling during that? Do you remember <laughs> if you if you can recall it? <laughs> it was it was it was fun. It was, that was very stressful, but that was like a moment yeah. that, that took was, like a lot of pressure off. That was like was, just fun because we were friends. Yeah. We just had fun. Mm, definitely. Um, I personally enjoy like the people that I've become close with. Everyone like is just such a family in the cast. Yeah, I agree. Um, we have a lot of fun together. I just I love being able to come here and uh, be on stage with everyone else. The amazing ensemble, it's great. I love the casting. Uh, I love the ensemble, as I said, and I think everyone that is cast as any named roles uh, really gets into it. Really, really hardcore, and I respect a lot. Good. Um, do you have any like favorite song from the musical? Um, probably Lay All Your Love On Me or uh, my song, a little biased, uh, Our Last Summer. 
I really love every song. I love personally SOS. SOS, we sing together. We do sing together in that song, and it's it's just a, it's a great song. I do love the one who takes it all too. I guess. Yeah, she's it's got a pretty great moment in that. So <laughs> knowing me, knowing you, that you sing is really great yeah. too. I don't know. There's really all, there's a lot. I, of there's cool. so many good songs. <laughs> Leo, you're loving me. <laughs> that is um, definitely my favorite song. I like Gimme Gimme. My favorite songs are Take a Chance and Super Trooper. Super Trooper is just, oh, the costumes are beautiful and I feel like a main character and I feel like I'm in my own little music video. And then Take a Chance is just a lot of fun. I love being funny in that and <laughs> I like running around with Liam, so it's fun. Super Trooper is definitely my favorite. It's just the outfits are amazing and we're just, like all three of us just have so much fun every time. Um, I really like Under Attack. That's my favorite. Um, probably, probably Take a Chance on me. <laughs> I'd say I love either Lay All Your Love On Me or Does Your Mother Know? From an actual song standpoint, I'd say either Lay All Your Love or Voulez Vu. I'm gonna go with uh, Does Your Mother Know? Because, you know, that's my number. It's kind of the star of the show. You get to see this bad boy in action. Under Attack. <laughs> yeah, Under Attack. Or Lay All Your Love is really entertaining, too. The songs are just incredible. They're so fun to sing and work with every single night. Um, it's so much fun. I'm really proud of all the work we've done here this year. It's the sets are so beautiful and it's amazing to see all of these things that we built just truly come to life and create such a beautiful type of scene. Um, a lot of times it is pure undiluted chaos for a while, but um, everything cleans up a lot more and it definitely becomes easier the further along you get. Um, we mainly work with like these walls. Um, then we work with like tons of chairs and tables and it's a lot of like spinning them, getting to them to where they need to be at the right times, setting up the scenes so that they look pretty. So it's a lot of just moving stuff around and heavy lifting. So we just want it to look nice for everyone. So I'm just here to make sure the cast looks nice at all times. Um, it's fun. I enjoy it. Um, it's nice because you get to, you're involved, but you're not like super, it's not super hands on, but you still are involved with the show. Um, so first, um, so at least with lighting, like it takes a lot of time before the show, but during the show it's just like pressing a button, but you like record cues, you program them into the board, and then you just um, like play the cues out as the show goes on. Are you excited for opening night? I am. It's going to be very fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been more excited in my whole life. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of pressure, but it's also a lot of excitement, so we're ready. So excited. I'm Not as excited as the audience should be. Come see Mamma Mia. Yeah, come see it. Come see Mamma Mia. <laughs>